my journey was pretty unusual in the sense that I grew up in the north of England uh, in a small, a very tight-knit, uh, conservative Pakistani community. And so it wasn't really an environment that fosters the best kind of opportunities for young women of entrepreneurship. I started Peak um, after having worked for a few years in finance. Um, I was extremely um, interested in the uh, travel space. I went to, on a trip to Istanbul um, with my friends and I found it really, really hard to figure out what to do and then be able to book it. I thought that there was a big opportunity in the activity space to help people book great things to do, whether they were at home or abroad. And so I started working on the idea for Peak and eventually started the business um, with my co-founder. I think there's a few things that investors look at um, in order to fund a company. And the first is, is the market really big? The next thing that people look at is the team, um, and making sure that you've got a group of people who are able to go out and scale the business. And then I think the third piece has been around timing. Um, you know, the market that we're in um, has really been offline. You couldn't book their activities in real time uh, on their websites. And so what we saw was that mobile was going to revolutionize that, both because consumers are using their phones to find great things to do, but also because the tour operators recognized um, that they could use their mobile phone to run their whole business. I think often what's happening in a lot of ways that the way that kind of senior roles uh, are selected can be because there's a bit of an old boys club or a friendship group that emerges. So I think the first thing is just to kind of make sure that you're giving opportunities to people who are different uh, and ensuring that some of those social connections that are happening um, involve everybody. I think the second thing um, is to actually ensure that um, you are challenging people to take risks in their career. Often, um, a lot of the data shows that women will not apply for jobs until they're already meeting all the qualifications. And then I think the last piece is just ensuring that you have great diversity uh, in the earlier parts of the funnel. When people are really junior joining your team, make sure that you've got parity on the diversity side. If you're thinking about being an entrepreneur, um, I think you've really got to make sure that the market team and timing is right. But beyond that, I think it's just to stay persistent. Um, there are going to be tumultuous moments. You know, someone wants to leave a team or you make big mistakes in the business. And I think it's really having the fortitude to stay through that and through the emotional ups and downs. Uh, I think that's a lot of the early stages of a startup are around being able to get through the survival moments and having that persistence and having that passion and confidence to keep going. <laughs>